welcome to the project demonstration of leo converter driven uh, bldc motor so here we are going to drive this bldc motor which is of uh, 12 volt operated uh, 10 amps maximum power taken by this dc motor so this was driven by the old days source inverter along with leo converter so the main purpose of the leo converter is like so it's nothing but a uh, dc to dc boost converter so the main application is like it will provide us the less ripples while we boosting the voltage so the purpose of the boosting voltage in our project is when we are running this bldc motor with the help of voltage source inverter then there will be a chance of heavy ripples will be generated and due to that the power will be means the voltage will be uh, lags means it, when we are providing the 12 volts dc output to this voltage source inverter so then the voltage may drop due to this ripples and high power consumption by this bldc motor so for that purpose only we are making use of this leo converter here actually the leo converter is ma mainly useful for in, uh, electrical vehicles while we are running the bldc motors as you know that electrical vehicles are controlled to the uh, bldc motors only so <coughs> here we have interfaced the bldc motor uh, through this we uh, voltage source inverter to the atmega controller here and also we are going to getting the feedback voltage from this leo converter so here uh, let me uh, explain you the power flow 230 volts ac input to the transformer so here we are using uh, 230 volts ac to 12 volts of ac 2 amp step down transformer and that was the input to this regulated power supply board so on this one there we can see one uh, IC with 4 pin that is nothing but act as a bridge rectifier which will take 12 volts AC and provide as a 12 volts pulsating DC. So to remove the pulses for smoothing purpose we are making use of 1000 microfarad capacitor and after that we will get the 12 volts DC. So that 12 volts DC is a main input here main input to this uh, Leo converter and also after this 7805 regulator so this is the 12 volts dc and this is the 5 volts dc after this 7805 regulator which is the main operating voltage so for the microcontroller so this microcontroller section will act as a tachometer to measure the speed of the bldc motor in terms of revolutions per second and next so that uh, again 12 volts uh, to this one and from this feedback directly given as uh, input voltage to the microcontroller through this voltage sensor so there we can see the 10 is to 1 uh, ratio so from there we are going to measuring the voltage by the microcontroller at a1 pin and next a0 pin is the input from the potentiometer this is a potentiometer to set the speed for the dc motor and next we have interface the 5 6 7 8 9 10 pins to this voltage source inverter MOSFETs so here we are using IRF 540 MOSFETs for the switching purpose to convert the 12 volts DC to 3 phase 12 volts DC uh, 3 phase 12 volts outputs for the phase shift by uh, doing the phase shifting to this BLDC motor here so here we are using the 3 phase BLDC motor directly and uh, let us see the demonstration here we are using the IR sensor to measure the speed that was interfaced to the A4 pin of our PIC 16F72 microcontroller and the speed continuously measured by the microcontroller and displayed on this 16 by 2 LCD screen so before on the kit I am repeating that it's very very important so just we need to place this with low speed so it's zero so high zero check that because if we keep on high and switch on the gauge so directly it will go with the high power consumption and then the MOSFETs may get damaged so in order to protect that we should take care of this potentiometer before on the power supply to that so once you switch on the gauge welcome message displayed on the LCD screen so let us see now right one two beeps comes as the motor got initialized so now I am slowly increasing the speed very slowly right so we are using a 9000 rpm dc motor 
so now we are measuring that in rps so 50 rps nothing but so 50 rps into 60 seconds so it's almost like 3000 rpm so 50 rps so it moved up actually 12000 rpm but don't go to the high speed as mosfets get damaged And slowly you can decrease the speed for safety purpose only. We can go up to 2,000 RPS also. Right, everything is okay now, but don't go to the high speed and keep it uh, that at that speed for maximum time for safety precautions.